Hey guys, real quick today, we have a quick tip for you that hopefully is gonna save you a lot of uh, headaches and a lot of money, okay? What we have is a 2007 F-150 543 valve. I know it's getting old, same old, same old, but there's a lot of problems with this engine and there's a lot of fixes too. Um, it has a sound coming from it that sounds like a lash adjuster or a roller follower has failed and it's tick, 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 tapping in there. There's some kind of lash in the valve train. Believe it or not, it's nothing to do with the engine itself, the actual valve train or an engine internals. It's coming from the spark plug. Now, if you don't know it already, the, um, the 542 valve has a problem with spark plugs blowing out. The 543 valve has a problem with spark plugs getting stuck in the head. And some of the 543 valves, I don't know why, people aren't torquing them down right, whatever, um, they have spark plugs that are coming loose also. Um, so the problem kind of followed from the two valve to the three valve on some vehicles. I haven't seen one in about five years, um, but once I heard it, um, you can tell it's definitely an issue with the spark plug coming loose in there. Now the one key here that's gonna tell you, hey, maybe you should look at the spark plug, is a fuel smell. Raw fuel smell, an exhaust fuel smell, a combustion gases smell. Make smell under the hood, it may be drawn into the cabin via the HVAC system. Um, that's the one dead giveaway because of the gases and the fuels being injected in the cylinder escaping out of there, okay? So as it comes up at the compression stroke, guess what, it's pushing past and you're smelling that raw fuel smell. You look around fuel lines, Injectors, there's no problem. Well, it's coming from the spark plug. Spark plug's loose. Simple as that. So today we have a, a, the 07 F-150. Really good example. I'll let you listen to it. I'll show you how the spark plugs look. And of course, I'll show you how it's supposed to sound at the end. Let's get to it. All right, let's go ahead and start the engine up so you guys can hear how it sounds. And you can compare it to your vehicle. So once the vehicle starts idling down, you're gonna to start to hear it. That ticking or tapping type noise coming from this area. It's coming from the valve cover area here. Try to compare it to the other bank. No noise. Over here, there's a definite ticking or tapping noise coming from the valve cover area. So when you're in this situation, what you want to do, the very first thing, is pull all these ignition coils on a cold engine so you don't burn yourself, and get in there and check the torque of each one of these spark plugs. Because this is a pretty common occurrence. Usually the first thing uh, the driver will notice is a fuel smell coming as the combustion gases escape. They get drawn into the air vents inside. You'll notice a fuel smell under the hood no fuel leaks anywhere well it's just coming from the combustion chamber there as it's escaping past there and past the boot on the coil and of course at the same time it's making that ticking or tapping noise as the puffs of combustion gases leave the cylinder it sounds just like a valve train tick now once the ignition coils are out you can look down in here and uh, just look at each one of these spark plug wells and you'll see with the flashlight a bunch of soot inside of there. Sometimes it can be smell like fuel and oil. Uh, you know, these spark plug wells should have a little bit of dirt in them maybe and that's it. They should be clean, otherwise they're sealed by the boots of the ignition coil. You can see this one's really bad. Just tons of carbon in there. Obviously the combustion gases are making it their way in. Same thing with this one, one's getting a little oily. I think this one, yeah. Let me get you a better angle at the flashlight there. Yeah, you see that? That's when you're getting the fuel and all that that's coming out and you get that fuel smell in the cabin. Well, it's from plugs like this that are this loose. Um, so, again, it's not that common, uh, but it does happen. All right, so here's the same plugs out on the bench here. You can see uh, they can get pretty darn nasty all the way through you can see the combustion gases bypassing the seat here and going past the threads and some are worse than others it's pretty bad this is how they should look with 
brand new plugs with anti-seize on them. There should be nothing past this point on here, okay? It seats right there. Now, when you pull these plugs out and you find this kind of concern, you want to also inspect your boots and or your coils uh, because these, these boots can get damaged either, either by the oil, they start to swell, or they'll get burned by the combust the hot combustion gas is coming up and out of there and it's kind of trapped in there so in this case this one's too too far gone we're just going to go ahead and change it out while we're in there uh, but you want to inspect that too so it's a complete repair in the end now with the spark plug and coil replaced tightened down properly let's take another listen Like new.